Dr. Campin, thank you so much for being here. And I thought we should start by having you explain exactly what microplastics and nanoplastics are. Sure, Katie, thanks so much for having me on. The degradation of plastics um, that we use all the time is, is something that takes years, decades, we throw things away and they eventually, they break down. There's a slow chemical process. Part of, the, part of what makes plastics wonderful is that they're very resilient and durable. We can use them for a long time, but eventually they they break and they sh they they become shards and those shards get smaller and smaller. So when we say microplastics, we're using the the uh, metric scale. So if you think of centimeter, we get down to micrometers, which is really too small to be seen by the human eye. But even smaller than that is nanometers. So the distinction between a microplastic is, and a nanoplastic essentially is whether it's bigger or smaller than one micrometer. And what I'll say is what we've observed in the brains and in the other organs is these nanoplastics that are about 100 to 400 nanometers in length and, and sort of skinny. They look like flakes. They, they're about the size of a couple of viruses laid side by side. So it gives you the idea of scale. They're, they're very, very tiny and, and definitely throughout the body.